I don't want to go. I think they did so many things well, and there's so many different aspects that I really thought they leveraged amazingly. Um, the the number one that kind of stood out for me was their use of media, and it's their phones, it's the, you know, TV in the morning, it's the radio in the car, it's this 24-hour news cycle, and it's social media, and it's just being completely flooded with all of these stories and news cycles and images and, you know, all of these different things. 24 hours a day and it just doesn't ever stop the the stories don't ever stop and the coverage does never stop and when you look at statistics the amount of mass shootings the amount of school shootings that are experienced in america it is absolutely jaw-dropping it is like floored how many happen and I can't imagine being a kid going to school with this concept of this 24-hour news cycle and with all of these social media apps and sites and you know networks that you see and check all the time and that's all you're hearing is about school shooters and I can't imagine having to get up and go to school the next day like I think that this was so well done emotionally. It hit right on the money. And like I said, I think they leveraged really showcasing the news and the media really well because they didn't just like put it in your face. They kept it in the background, but it was constant. And I think that that's what they did really, really well. Um, I thought it was really powerful and really well done. Here's the news for I Don't Wanna Go. Uh, this is very short, but highly efficient in pro portraying the fear and anguish that children in USA must feel when listening to the news of yet another shooting. This is a great job by this young actor. Um, I just will never understand why this issue worsens every year and why are people adamant on protecting their right to carry arms or guns. Um, assault guns for that matter. Also, the father is, to my opinion, uh, representing society as a source of apathy and normalization of the issue, um, ignoring the concerns of the child. It's just an awesome message here. I really enjoy the sensible approach they give to the issue and it is just outstanding. This was a really strong yet simple piece uh really executed well uh performances were, were good uh, just the concept i thought was really smart and i think it's something maybe everyone um doesn't think about especially outside the u.s where as traumatizing as these mass shootings and experiences are when they happen the space in between and the the anxiety and anticipation of when will the next one be has to absolutely be crushing to, um, you know, the students with the, you know, sort of wherewithal to even to be thinking about it. And they should not have to, I think uh, everyone would agree. So I'm really in a way glad this piece exists for that reason alone to maybe help bring awareness to the idea and, we can only hope something would be done, and I guess the um, you know the louder the voices become, um, you know, favoring a resolution, something uh, the better the chances. Hopefully, so uh, great work with this piece uh, to everyone involved. Really, a strong one. I don't want to go. I think that the filmmaker chose a really, really challenging subject matter for this, um, and it was very brave too to choose this subject matter about school shootings and the effect that school shootings have on other members who are going to school, other, other classmates and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think that you were incredibly brave. 
I also loved the fact that you had a story. You have a story there. You've got a beginning, you've got a middle, and you have an end. So kudos for that. There are a couple of things I would like to caution you about. When you're telling a story, be really careful to establish what the relationship is right at the very beginning so that there aren't any questions. It was a little dark. You know, there were some lighting issues in the beginning, so I couldn't really see who was in bed together. And I mistakenly thought that it was a couple rather than a father and a son. So a really good way to establish that it is a father and the son is right from the very beginning, just have them say a line, dad, can I go ahead and sleep in here with you tonight? I really, I don't want to be alone. I feel scared. That hits it right off at the beginning. So you know immediately what the relationship is and just be careful with the lighting issues. But I think that you did a great job. I don't know if this was the first film that you've done for being 16 to tackle such a challenging subject matter. I think that that was great. And thank you for making this film. It was, you did a good job. I don't want to go. The ominous and uneasiness permeated the film right from the top. There was just that feeling that something wasn't quite right. And that's a mastery of, of mood and tension that was created. Um, when a world tragedy happens and we're all left in the aftermath and don't know how to make sense of it, it it's great to use art to, to tackle those feelings that we can't quite place a finger on. Um, and, and the character's lack of discussion about the events and relying on, on storytelling from the news reports telling us what was happening was a really great device to show that we need to have the conversations between us as difficult as it is so that it's not just the media telling us the brutality. It's like, what can we fill in the gaps? Where's the humanity in the headlines? Um, they used the, the time really effectively in the, the short time that uh, the film took. So I thought that was really well-rounded and atmospheric storytelling. Hey, I'm commenting on the short film, I Don't Wanna Go. Um, I thought tonally this was just sort of a, a devastating, you know, little piece. Um, it, uh, it really sort of highlighted uh, what a tragedy and just, you know, what an awful situation it is that kids, you know, aren't feeling safe in their own schools at this point. Um, I think, uh, I think that these are sentiments that are probably shared by a lot of people these days. And I think that, uh, the way that you're expressing them, uh, really resonates. Um, I did find the opening confusing. Um, the first scene is really dark. Um, and I definitely didn't understand what their relationship was considering you have this father and son sharing a bed. Um, I think... It would really help if you clarified that or even considered reshooting that first scene if that's within your ability um because right now it's it's not getting you off to the best start but i think the rest of your piece is succeeding really really nicely all right i just finished watching um i don't want to go which i thought was a very powerful and, and emotive piece especially given um what it was able to do in such a short amount of time i thought it was an incredibly um socially relevant concept of um, being afraid to go to school because you're worried that you, you might get killed there. And I think it's a very uniquely American problem. And I think the piece sort of reflects um, not just um, the fear of what it means to be at the school or going through that experience, but sort of understand that it's something that could happen and just the fear that happens in your own home um, and in your own mind when you have to deal with the idea that it's possible that you're going to go somewhere where you're supposed to be safe and it's not safe at all. And I thought the two performances by, by the lead actors were really great. I thought it was a great contrast between the father um, trying to sort of force his son to go back out there and, and sort of participate in life and the son sort of carrying a, a latent fear that I think um, his father might not necessarily understand the same way because he, he might not have lived through it um, in that type of way when he was younger so I thought the piece was really great with silence it was really great with creating a sense of mood and tension while also not having anything um, incredibly violent or traumatic happening on screen you still felt the, the emotions of those type of experiences so I thought it was um, an incredibly well done piece um, well constructed and thoughtful and uh, that's why I ended up enjoying it